So today we'll take a look at um, creating a Microsoft team but linking it to an existing Office 365 group. So why would you want to do that? Because Teams hasn't always been there and maybe you've been using SharePoint for a while and you've created some cool team sites there and what now? You'd like to use Teams but you don't want to duplicate the sites that you've already built. So when you're in your Microsoft Teams app you'll see at the bottom join or create team. Of course this is a reliant on the permissions that you have from the tenant side if you're allowed to create teams but if I click on join or create team and I then click on create team I can give this a team name so I am going to just call this um, a SharePoint team and um, of course I can add a description but do you see here at the bottom you have the ability to say create a team from an existing Office 365 group yes so I'm going to click on that and this is going to open up any of the groups that, that I can actually um, select to link this team to. Keep in mind that any templates that you've used, communication site templates, doesn't have an Office 365 group link to it. Of course, the purpose of those are much more for intranet level and communication sites. So I'm going to select SharePoint team site, which is a team site template that I used in SharePoint, but I created it on the SharePoint side, not on Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to say choose team, and, uh, and then we'll see. And that is as easy as that is.